close your eyes, watch your breath for a while. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing process in the body. Focus your attention there. And then ask yourself if it's comfortable. Try to create a sense of well-being inside. Because you're wishing for true happiness. That means you have to take the happiness of other people into consideration as well. Because if your happiness depends on their suffering, they're not going to stand for it. and Your happiness won't last. So start with a sense of well-being with the way you breathe. And the thing thoughts of goodwill for yourself, for other beings. Remind yourself it's not a question of who deserves your well your goodwill, your metta. You deserve doing it. In other words, it's good for you. If you can't have goodwill for all beings, then there are going to be some beings that you're going to behave in an unskillful way towards. That's going to be your karma. Do you want that kind of karma? No. So it's your well your goodwill to be extensive, as the Buddha says, make it immeasurable. He compares it to wealth. And think about it, here's the kind of wealth that you can create yourself. You don't have to work for somebody else for them to give you the wealth. You don't have to take it from them. It's something you can generate inside. It's like having your own money press. You can print as much money as you like. And you never have to run out. You can just keep printing more and more and more. And of course, the more you have, the more you print out, the more you give to others, the more you get in return, in the sense of well-being inside. Realizing that you don't wish ill for anybody, or your thoughts are for everybody's true well-being. Of course, there are a lot of people who are misbehaving right now, but goodwill for them doesn't mean just may you be happy doing whatever you're doing. It means may you understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. And that's a thought you can have for anybody. You don't want it to be marred with thoughts, well, let them suffer first and then behave skillfully. You're just happy for them to be happy, happy them for them to create causes for happiness. So think of this as being abundant. The Buddha gives lots of images in the canon for goodwill that is much larger than the actions of the people who might come and try to destroy it, making your goodwill as large as the earth. And there's a little man coming along who wants to make the earth be without earth, so he digs here and digs there, spits here, spits there, urinates here, urinates there, saying, be without earth, be without earth. But the earth is so much bigger, it's not affected by his actions. You want your goodwill to be big like that, solid like that, so that no matter what anybody does, you can still have goodwill for them. Or make your goodwill like space. Nobody can draw anything on space. There's no place for the, the drawings to hold. So think of other people's words as, as they come through your mind. Think of them being in space. They just disappear. There's no place for them to take hold. That way your goodwill can be solid and spacious and abundant. It's your wealth, so create as much as you want. You create wealth of this kind. The Buddha doesn't say you're greedy. That's part of your initiative. And it's a wealth that doesn't lose its value. With currency, the more they print, the less the value of the money. But with this, the more you print, the more you hand out, the greater the value. So it's a special kind of money, a special kind of math for the thoughts of goodwill. Think of it as wealth. So when someone does something to you that you don't like, you don't feel that your goodwill is just simply being weak or being unable to think of anything to say nasty in return. Your goodwill is your wealth. So smother them with your wealth. And that way everybody benefits.